When I said that 2023 was going to be the year of the robot, I was referring to my side project, Obey Robots, and our album, One in a Thousand. But so far this year, AI is everywhere. Last week, I saw some really cool images created using Photoshop's relatively new generative fill tool. So I decided to give it a try. In this video, I'm going to ask Photoshop's AI to recreate all six of my album covers. And I'm really interested to compare those images the AI version with the human one. I have major moral and ethical reservations when it comes to replacing creative humans with AI, especially after reading this article about the human cost of training the AI. But this experiment isn't taking anyone's paid work away from them. So let's see what happens. I haven't been too impressed with my attempts at AI art so far, but for the sake of this experiment, I am being completely open-minded. Come on robots, impress me. Now, I found out yesterday that this generative fill tool isn't included in the normal Photoshop, even if it's up to date. So what I had to do is go into the Creative Cloud app on my desktop and download Photoshop Beta. Okay, let's try this out. Generative fill, this new suite of capabilities in the Photoshop Beta app enables you to add, extend, or remove content from your images non-destructively using simple text prompts to achieve realistic results. Let's see, new image. To do it the default Photoshop size, that's fine. Um, generative fill, jumpstart your creativity, etc. etc. So I'm just going to select the entire canvas here, click generative fill, and now I'm going to put my prompts in. Disarm. Woman with red hair holds Polaroid photo. Polaroid photo is of a red heart that says disarm. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Thankfully, it does give three variations every time you press the button. So let's see, let's see what uh, other options we've got here. Mm. Not so good on the text, is it? I'm gonna click generate again and see if we get any closer. Ooh, actually that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. The text is correct this time. Next one. I don't know why it's got such a problem with um, text, but. Ah, this ma'am. <laughs> That's not a million miles away from my album cover. That is bizarre because I obviously haven't given it that much information. Hang on a second, is there something going on? With her fingers, oh, that's creepy. Apart from the fact that it says this ma'am and the woman's right hand looks really messed up. That's actually not a million miles away. I'm gonna try one more time, see what happens. Okay. That ring looks very uncomfortable on that lady. Um, but the heart looks better. Okay. And of course we've got three again. <laughs> I hate to think. Ah, this mammy. This mammy. This mom. Love it. Okay. That was a little unsettling. Let's go for another one. Let's try it. Let's try the next album. Little Battles. A magpie sits on a branch surrounded by anatomically correct hearts on stalks. I'm gonna select again the entire canvas, find my prompt and paste it in. And then let it go wild with the idea. Create something absolutely beautiful that would be much better than anything a human could do. quite a nice magpie actually I like that oh wait this foot doesn't seem to be attached to anything that is a bit creepy isn't it that one's leg seems stuck on a bit better it's not really getting the anatomical heart thing is it yeah this is sort of variations on the theme that looks a little bit weird the album artwork for little battles was created from the lyrics to magpie heart so I'm gonna see what the robots make of that the whole word salad for it to figure out there. One or more words in your prompt violates user guidelines. Oh yeah, there's, uh, there's these user guidelines that mean that you um, can't do anything creepy. And yet, that's creepy. I didn't ask it to do that, did I? That's also quite weird. Let's try again. Yep. Just a load of men crying. That's what this uh, AI thinks 
will be the result of my lyrics. One more try. Yeah, that person definitely has six fingers. I'm finding this a little bit weird. I thought this was gonna bring in photos that exist, but it's definitely pulling stuff. The f is that? Okay, hang on a second. If one of the words violates user guidelines, surely it just shouldn't use that word, whatever the word is. Not send me this horror show. What the f is going on there? Okay, we're gonna move on from this one, I think. Okay, direction of travel. A woman and her small grey dog walk across a bridge to another world, a rock floating in space. A unicorn peeps its head out of the rock. There is fire in the background. There is a lighthouse. There is an anchor. I don't look. Ooh. That's quite magical. There seems to be a horse with two tails and no head. Oh, that's cute. I didn't specify where the anchor was, so it's just floating in space there, I guess. <laughs> that's not what my dog looked like. This is a lot closer to something that could be used as artwork, but... I mean, it's shit, isn't it? If we're honest. Imagine if you hired an illustrator and paid them some money and gave them some prompts and they came back with this sort of level of stuff. It'd just be... That unicorn's very small and the horn's going the wrong way. Yeah, a bit weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. This one, weirdly, kind of works. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's probably the best one so far. See, the thing is, technology like this surely only works if you know what to write in and you know how to communicate with it to get the best thing out of it. I would argue that most clients don't know those things and that's why creative people are so valuable because they can ask the right questions and they can try various things to really try and figure out what the client actually wants because it's very hard to explain a picture that's just in your head if you can't draw and that's why illustrators are so wonderful in my opinion. Moving on. Brace for impact. A photograph of a young blonde girl waiting for her Christmas presents. A collage of personal objects surround the photograph including a teddy bear. And she's terrifying. And there's a hand from nowhere there. Happy Christmas. Terrifying. I don't know if this is against the rules that they have because I've got stuff about fire in it. I'm glad they have those rules. Though they clearly don't have any rules against scaring the bejesus out of people with their weird images. So this is for my album, Exotic Monsters. A blonde woman is floating in space. She stares at the camera holding a rotary phone up to her ear. Like this one. The phone's cord is cut like in a horror film. In the background, planet Earth is on fire. This is okay. This is not bad. Ooh. It's creepy, isn't it? It's not just me. Everything's just a bit warped and weird. And like the dead staring eyes of that lady. I'm gonna try again, see what other horror shows we can conjure up from the deep here. Oh, wow. That phone seems to have melted. It's not a million miles away from the album cover, but, um, okay. Ah! Ah! Your head doesn't look right. Let's move on. One more album to do. This is the latest one that I have released. It's called One in a Thousand by Obey Robots, which is my collaboration project with Rat from Ned's Atomic Dustbin. It came out in February. And the prompt for this one, a robot is standing at the front of a robot army, holding their fist up in solidarity. They have a heart on their chest. Surely they can't make this terrifying. Surely this is just gonna be nice. Surely. Is that necessary? I don't think it is. And we found the horror one. This one, this one, these hands are freaking me out, that hand is freaking me out. That's horrendous, isn't it? That's like the stuff of nightmares. Let's recap then. Here are my original album covers. 
And here's what Photoshop's AI thinks they should have looked like. I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to stick to working with artists. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you sleep very well tonight. All of the albums I've mentioned are available directly from me from my shop, which is at shop.penfriend.rocks, and you can download or stream them wherever you normally get your digital music. Next, how about watching this video that I shared recently about how to stop hating photographs of yourself? See you soon.